They're the pests menacing our country, invading our backyards, our farms and our national parks. They're the ferals. Yep, feral species are a big problem here in Australia. You're probably familiar with the usual suspects, but they're only a small part of the gang. In fact, you might be surrounded by ferals without even knowing it. So Corey, tell me a bit about this area. Yeah, this is a um, you know, classic bit of remnant bushland and it's, it's mostly full of native species, but we've got a lot of weeds that have come in. Oh, for this, for example, this is, this is cape weed. Here's another nasty one. It's a thistle. You know, everyone will be familiar yeah. with, with prickles. They're very prickly, thistles. those ones, yeah. Yeah, um, Scottish national emblem, but uh, we don't like them here. And, uh, oh, of course, uh, we've got the wild pea here. This is a nasty one. This is a common grass called kaikuyu. It Professor Corey Bradshaw is an ecologist who's just published a paper about the cost of invasive species in Australia. Not only the, the cost to our uh, damaged ecological systems, but they cost our economies billions and billions and billions of dollars every year. $390 billion, in fact. That's how much Corey says these ferals have cost Australia over the past 60 years. So that can be anything from damage to crops. For example, uh, there's a fungal disease that attacks bananas in the Northern Territory. Or it could be, say, like rats or mice eating grain from a grain store. Or it can be even things like the cost of taking weeds off of a property. Corey says while feral species are a problem around the world, in Australia they're particularly bad news. And that's mostly because we're an island, a very old island. And for about 100 million years or so, plants and animals here got to evolve on their own paths, relatively undisturbed by outsiders. That changed 200 years ago when European settlers came along, bringing a whole host of ferals with them, some by accident and some deliberately for farming or hunting or fishing or comfort. It wasn't until, you know, farmers started to complain about, you know, weed X, Y, or Z, or we started to notice that populations of native species were going down the toilet. So what are the worst feral offenders? <coughs> feral cats aren't just costly from a, a price perspective. Uh, they are probably the most dangerous animal in Australia. Rabbits, European rabbits, are another big problem, uh, especially for farmers across Australia. Uh, other things like feral pigs. Uh, we have different types of grasses. In Queensland, it's things like the fire ants. Over the years, we've got a lot better at controlling what comes in and out of the country. And Australia now has some of the best biosecurity laws in the world. You know, if you've ever gone through the airport and you have to go through uh, customs and you also come up to quarantine and they say have you brought any fruit in or have you got any products, wood products or things like that. Governments also spend a lot of money trying to control feral plants and animals that are already here in all sorts of ways. It's a tough battle but experts say it's one that we need to fight to keep our precious natives safe from the ferals.